Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. We'll begin in a comfortable seat. Take your time to get set up comfortably. If you'd like, sit on a pillow, roll up a jacket, elevate the hips a little higher than the knees. It's a little chilly here this morning. It's chilly where you are, get cozy. Ah, you made it. You know that's more than enough and I'm grateful that you're here. Grow tall through your spine. Relax your knees and hips. Allow your eyes to softly close. Slightly tuck the chin, lengthening the back of the neck. Bringing the palms to heart center. Resting the thumbs against the sternum. Begin to notice your breath. No need to change the breath, simply observe your natural breathing. Notice that there's any tension in the face. Relax the face. Relax the shoulders. Relax the chest. At any point, the mind begins to wander. Simply return your attention back to your breath, knowing that it's okay. That's the nature of the mind. It likes to think and be busy. You strengthen the mind every time you return your attention back to your focus. Beginning our practice with Gayatri Mantra. If you'd like to join me, please feel free. After our mantra, one ohm in a few moments in silent meditation. Taking a deep breath in. Om Babuva Svaha. Tatsavitu Varenyam Bargo Nevascha Dimahi Dioyona Prachonaya Allow the arms 
the hands to float down to the legs. Simply breathe. Continue to return your focus to your breath. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Longer breath out through the mouth. One more breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Natural breathing. Wiggling the fingers, running the thumb along every fingertip. Bringing the palms to the knees, eyes can remain closed, but they can slowly start to open, letting the light back in. Inhale, reach the chest forward. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin. Rock back on the sit bone. Inhaling, seated cow, arching the back, gazing up. Exhale, round the spine, tucking the chin, extending the arms. Moving with your breath. Four rounds, seated cow and cat. Returning to our neutral spine. Uncross the legs. Bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Make sure you have enough room for your head. We're going to recline. And it's still early in the practice. 
So you can choose to use your arms to assist you as you come onto your back, or extend your arms and lower slowly, starting to warm the core. Whichever feels right this morning for you. Coming all the way onto your back. Take a full body stretch. Arms come up overhead, pointing and flexing the feet, rolling the ankles and wrists. Like you're waking up again. Bringing the arms back down by the sides, then one knee, then the next. Hugging the knees into the body, wrapping your arms around the legs. Give yourself a nice morning hug. If it feels good, rock side to side, massaging the lower back. Returning the feet to the mat. Bringing the soles of the feet together, opening the knees. Recline Baddha Konasana or Butterfly Pose. Bringing the palms to rest on the belly. Lengthen the back of the neck. Close the eyes and come back to your breath. Relax the face. Relax the chest. Relax the shoulders, arms, belly, legs and feet. Begin to deepen your breath. Place the left palm on the heart, right palm on the belly. Breathing deeply in and out of the nose. On your next inhale, Breathe deep into the belly, expanding the lower belly like a balloon. Expanding the chest, exhaling from chest to belly. Inhaling, filling the lower belly, upper belly, lower chest, upper chest. Exhaling, upper chest, lower chest, upper belly lower belly, inhale, lower belly, upper belly, lower chest, upper chest, exhale, upper chest, lower chest, upper belly, lower belly, inhale, lower belly, upper belly, lower chest, 
upper chest, exhale, upper chest, lower chest, upper belly, lower belly. Inhale, fill the belly from bottom to top, chest from bottom to top. Exhale, pour the breath out from top to bottom. Inhale, filling from bottom to top. Exhale, pouring the breath out from top to bottom. Continue with your own rhythm, your pace, creating a wave-like breath. Tuning into your ebb and flow. Inhaling from bottom to top. Exhaling from top to bottom. Feeling that wave of breath washing over you. With the rise and fall of the tide. Take three more rounds of this wave-like breath. Return to your natural breathing. Slowly bring the knees back together, soles of the feet on the mat. Feet about hip distance apart. Arms can continue, hands can continue to rest on the body or they could slide back to the sides. Observe any subtle sensation in the body. Scan the body for any tension. If you find the place of tension, a sticky place, take a moment to breathe there, inviting it to release with your exhale. We'll take a few moments now to release tension, perhaps in the glutes, hips, forehead, shoulder blades. Maybe other places, chest, belly.
Really allow yourself to relax and be heavy. Letting the earth support your weight. Bring all awareness to the base of your spine. As you inhale, imagine the breath traveling up the spine all the way to the crown of the head. Exhaling from the crown of the head, back down the vertebrae to the tip of the spine. Inhaling from the bottom of the spine. Feel the breath creating space as it goes to the crown of the head. Exhale from crown, back down to tailbone. Inhaling, bottom of the spine, flowing up the vertebrae. Exhaling from crown, all the way back down. Continue this breathing, channeling the breath up and down the spinal column, energizing Shushumba, the central nadi in the body. Inhaling up the length of the spine. Exhaling down the spine. At the bottom of the exhale, retain the breath, engage Mula Bandha, lift the pelvic floor and hold, 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 release, inhaling up the spine. Exhaling down the spine. At the bottom of your exhale, retain the breath, lift the pelvic floor, lifting the space between the tailbone, pubic bone, and sit bones, and release, inhaling up the spine. Exhaling from crown, back down the spine. Engage Mula Bandha, lift the pelvic floor. The feeling of stopping urination midstream. And release, inhaling up the spine. Exhaling from the crown of the head, back down the vertebrae. At the bottom of the exhale, engage Mula Bandha. Holding, holding, and release, inhaling up the spine. Exhaling down the spine at the bottom of your exhale. Hold Mula Bandha for three counts before releasing and inhaling. We'll do four to five more rounds. Move at your own pace.
Last round of breath, spinal breathing while engaging Mula Bandha. Releasing control of your breath. Natural breathing. Extend the right leg long on the mat, pressing through the right heel, flexing the right toes. Draw the left knee up towards the body, interlacing the fingers below the kneecap. Imagine the knee traveling towards the left shoulder. Avoiding the rib cage. Let's breathe. Anchor the right hip with the right palm. Slowly bring the left knee out, guiding it with the left hand. Taking yourself to your edge and beginning a nice big hip circle, moving the knee in a circle. Again, eyes can be closed or open. If the eyes are closed, maybe you imagine, you try to visualize that ball and socket joint, the hip. If you find any sticky places, spend a little extra time there breathing into those spaces. Moving in the opposite direction. Bringing the knee back to center. Taking the left leg with the right hand, extend the left arm straight out from the shoulder. Move into a twist, left knee moves to the right, rolling onto the outer right hip. Gazing in the opposite direction of your knee. Breathe here. One more breath. Come back to center. Interlace the fingers behind the left thigh. Extend the left heel up, flexing the toes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, point the toes. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. Three more times. Keeping the toe pointed, inhaling. Exhale, bring the forehead towards the leg. Hold here for two breaths. Maybe the hands slide up towards the ankle. One more breath.
and slowly lower the left leg all the way down to the mat, pressing through the left heel, flexing the left toes. Notice differences between the two sides of the body. And draw the right knee in, interlace the fingers on top of the shin. Continue to draw the right knee towards the right shoulder, avoiding the ribs, and breathe. Anchoring the left hip with the left palm. Slowly bring the right knee out to the right, finding your edge. And beginning knee circles, moving in one direction. Beautiful. Showing yourself a little love this morning. During mellow Monday moves. Moving in the opposite direction. Coming back to center, take the right knee with the left hand. Extend the right arm straight out from the shoulder. Move into your twist. Right knee moves to the left. Gazing in the opposite direction of your knee. And breathe. Find as much ease as you can, softening the face, relaxing the tongue, the forehead, eyebrows, eyelids. Soften the chest and shoulders. One more breath. Come back to center, flex the left toes, extend the right leg, flex the right toes, inhaling, and exhale, point the toes. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. Nice, three more times. Keeping the toe pointed, inhaling. As you exhale, lifting the chest, bringing the forehead towards the knee, breathing here, two breaths. Maybe the hands slide up to the calf or to the ankle. One more breath. And slowly lower down. 
bringing the right leg to meet the left. Relax completely. Natural breathing. Bending one knee, then the next. Bring them into the body, wrap your legs, excuse me, your arms around your legs. So gently rock side to side. Maybe rock the head side to side, massaging the skull. Coming back to stillness, begin to rock lengthwise on the spine. Rocking back and forth three to four times before finding your way to a seat. Rolling up the spine. And finding your way back to a comfortable seat. Beautiful. Bringing the fingertips next to the hips. Arms fully extended. Find your tall spine. Flip the palms up, inhale, arms float above the head, gazing up towards the thumbs. Exhale, arms float back down, palms facing down, reaching in opposite directions. Beautiful, flipping the palms up, inhaling, arms rise. Palms can meet or they could stay at shoulder distance. Gazing up towards the thumbs. Exhale, flip the palms down. Soar, reach, fingertips grace the mat, inhaling, arms rise. Exhaling, arms lower. Two more times with your breath. Relax. Natural breathing, take the legs out to the side, coming to the hands and knees. Tabletop pose, four point pose. Feel free to add extra cushion to the knees. Folding a blanket or extra clothing. Spread the fingers wide, index finger pointing towards the top of the mat. Wrists, elbow, shoulders back, knees below the hips. Bring awareness to the belly. Inhale, lengthen and lower the belly, lift the heart, gaze up. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin, press into the hands and the tops of the feet. Inhaling, cow pose. Exhaling, cat pose. Two more rounds, move at your own pace. Come back to a neutral spine. Bring the big toes together, knees as wide as the mat, hips move towards the heels, walk the hands out to the top of the mat, bringing the forehead to a block, fold it up clothing, or all the way down to the mat. Relax the neck and head, inch the fingertips forward, really getting a nice side body stretch. Breathe into the sides of the body. Breathe into the back. Relax the arms now. Keep breathing deeply, allowing gravity to open the hips. No need to force the pose.
One more breath. Take your time to slowly rise. Coming back to our tabletop pose. Walk the hands forward. Bring the hips in line with the spine. Moving into half plank. Adjust so that the wrists, elbows, and shoulders are stacked. And breathe in here, half plank. Broaden the collarbones. Feel the lower belly engaged. Nice, keep breathing. Three more breaths, you got this. Last one, inhaling and exhale, lower all the way down to the mat. Or head resting on the mat, elbows at the sides. Breathing here, take a moment. Press into the toenails, lifting the kneecaps off the mat. With an inhale, lift the chest, lift the head, roll the shoulders back, reaching the elbows for the hips. Cobra pose. Breathe. Keep breathing as deep as you can. Feeling the belly expand on the mat. Two more breaths. On your second exhale, lower down. Relax. Breathe. Bringing the form to the mat. On your next inhale, lifting the head and chest, bringing the elbows beneath the shoulders, spread the fingers wide, gaze forward, sphinx pose. Nice. We'll take five deep breaths here. Last one. Bringing one palm to the mat for the next. In any way that feels good for your body, rise back up. Bring the knees to the outer edges of the mat. Big toes come together. Extended child's pose. Send the hips back. Forehead return to a blocker to the mat. Arms heavy.
slowly rise. Bring the knees together, feet together. Slide the arms back alongside the legs. Forehead comes back down, Malasana Child's Pose. Allow your shoulder blades to melt away from each other. Rising, coming up slowly, tabletop pose. Bringing the right hand to the center of the mat. Sweep the left arm up to the side. Gaze up toward the left thumb, twisting. As you exhale, thread the left arm beneath the right, bringing the shoulder down to the mat. Natural breathing. Feel free to stay here or walk the fingertips to the top of the mat with the right hand. Adjust so the majority of the weight is on the left shoulder. Light on the head and neck. Beautiful. Wonderful breath connection this morning. Taking our time. One more breath here. If you extended the right arm, slide the hand back so it's in front of your face, press into the right hand and rise back up. Sweep the left arm out to the left. Maybe it comes up a little higher. Float the left arm down, left hand at the center of the mat. Inhale, sweep the right arm out to the right. Gaze up at the thumb. Exhale, thread the right arm beneath the left, bringing the shoulder down to the mat. Feel free to stay here or walk the left fingertips to the top of the mat. Your mind becoming stronger and stronger as you keep your focus on the breath. One more breath. If you extend the left arm, slide the left hand back down in front of the face. Inhale to rise up, sweep the right arm out to the right, gaze up at the thumb. Exhale, float it back down. Tuck the toes. 
Walk the hands back, bring the sit bones onto the heels. Try to get all 10 toes onto the mat. If it feels too intense, maybe this morning it's just not what wants to be in your practice, feel free to bring the fingertips back down, ease your way into it. Listen and respond to your body. Your body's your best teacher. If it feels intense, you can exhale through the mouth, a breath of release, <sighs> letting out anything you need to let go of. <sighs> Another option is to rotate the wrists, a little welcome distraction. Just a few more seconds, rotate the wrists in the opposite way if you're rotating your wrists. Release the clasp of the hand, come to the fingertips, tuck the toes out. Bring the sit bones back to the heels. Grabbing a hold of the right knee, you can use your left fingertips to balance. Tops of the feet are flat on the mat. I'm trying to adjust so you can see since my socks are dark and my mat is dark. So from here, balancing with the left hand, grabbing hold of the right knee and drawing it up, stretching the top of the right foot. Nice, breathe here. The opposite stretch of what we just did. Two more breaths. Thank you, amazing feet, for all that you do. I see you, my foundation. Moving to the opposite side, shifting your weight onto the right heel, balancing with the right hand, or your opposite, excuse me. Breathing into the top of the left foot. Nice, two more breaths. And lowering the knee back down. Taking the legs out to the side. Coming onto the sit bones. Bring the sit bones to the center of the mat. Moving into Shavasana, our final resting pose. If you like anything for comfort, please take time. You can pause the video, um, take time to get whatever you like. Uh, bolster beneath the legs, blankets, eye pillows, lavender oil, anything you'd like, socks, extra layers of clothes. Once you've gathered your items, slowly lower down with control. Arms come up overhead, full body stretch, rotating the wrists and ankles, coming full circle. Back to our full body stretch from the beginning of practice. Bring the arms back down by the sides. Walk the heels out so they're wider than the hips. Allow the toes to fall away from each other. Walk the shoulder blades together. Back of the hands on the earth. Lengthen the back of the neck. Take a deep breath in. And relax as you exhale. Let your body be heavy. Natural breathing. Effortless breath.
jaw, tongue, cheeks, relax. Forehead, eyebrows, temples, relax. Eyelids, eyeballs, the space behind the eyes, relax. The throat, neck, shoulders, chest, soft and relaxed. Shoulder blades, back of the ribs, vertebrae, hips and pelvis, relax. Sternum, top of the ribs, belly, relax. Glutes, groin, Thighs, knees, shins, calves, relaxed. Ankles, tops of the feet. Soles of the feet, toes, relax. Upper arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists, relax. Back of the hands. Palms, fingertips, relax. Back of the head, sides of the head, top of the head, relax. Whole body relaxed, surrendering into Shavasana. I'll wake you when it's time.
Please feel free to stay in Shavasana for as long as you'd like. If you're ready to close your practice, begin to notice your breath. Softly move the fingers and toes. Running the thumb along each fingertip. Coming back into your physical body. When you feel ready, arms come up over head. Knees bend, rolling to the left or right side, using your arms, a pillow, finding yourself in the fetal position. And pause there. Take a few moments for yourself. A few breaths of gratitude. We're practicing yoga this morning. We're arriving. We're listening and responding to your body. A few breaths of gratitude for all that you do. Knowing that it's more than enough. You are more than enough. And keeping the eyes softly closed. Use your arms to assist you as you find your way back to a seat. Palms meet at heart center. Closing our practice with one final ohm if you'd like to join, pressing the thumbs against the sternum to feel the vibration of ohm. Taking a deep breath in. Oh. Thank you so much for joining me for Mellow Monday Moves. I'm so, so happy and grateful to be here with you to share the practice of yoga. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. Bye.